Reality of Television Long time ago, many children studied in third grade of a school. Two friends named Ansh and Vanshika were there in the class. Both of them were very fond of watching television. They used to imitate whatever they saw on the television. Like Iron Man, I can jump from great heights. That's it. Like Captain America, I can jump from even more height. I watched a film yesterday. In that film, there was a Spider-Man who climbed a wall with the help of a thin thread. Yes, even I have seen that movie. First he climbed that wall, then he made a jump from that wall. Yet nothing happened to him. So we can also jump like that. Yes, tomorrow I will bring a rope for this. And with its help, first we will climb the wall and after that we will make a jump. It would be great fun! <laughs> <laughs> Next morning, before going to school, Wunsch kept a thin rope in his school bag and left for his school. In the morning, while students were praying in the prayer ground, Ansh and Wanshika went near a tall wall in their school. First, we have to tie this rope from above. Saying this, they both went to the terrace. They tied their rope to a hard pipe on the terrace and came onto the ground. Come, like Spider-Man, we shall also climb the wall with the help of this rope. I will try first. Wanshika caught the rope and made an attempt, but she was unsuccessful. By seeing this, Ansh said, You won't be able to do it. I will show you how to do it. Ansh took the rope from Wanshika and started climbing. The rope was very thin. Therefore, when Ansh grabbed it tightly, it broke. What have you done? You broke the rope. No worries. We can't climb the wall like Spider-Man, but we can jump from above just like him. Yes! Now both of them, just to jump like Spider-Man, went to the terrace. Come, now let's jump together! After saying this, as soon as they stepped forward to jump, the teacher saw them from behind. To stop them, the teacher shouted, Anj! Wanshika! Step back from the wall! After listening to their teacher, they both stepped back. Teacher came near them and said, What were you doing? Like Spider-Man, we were about to jump. Yes, we saw in television. Spider-Man jumped from the wall and nothing happened to him. On this, teacher explained to them by saying, Yes, it was on television and everything shown in it is not real. It is all fake and unreal, <gasps> which is just made for entertainment. Therefore, we should never copy whatever that's shown in television. Did you understand? Kids understood after listening to their teacher. Sorry, Sorry teacher. teacher. We, we understood, understood what, what you said. said. Now, now we, we will, will never, never copy what's shown on the shown television. On television. Like this, Ansh and Wanshika understood reality of television and they never copied anything that's shown on television. So kids, moral of this story is that Whatever that's shown on television is just for our entertainment. Therefore, we should watch it for entertainment only and should never try to copy it. My favorite superhero. Long time ago, 8-year-old Pinku and 7-year-old Pinky lived with their parents and grandfather in a city. Pinku was very fond of watching action films. Every day, after returning from school, he used to watch movies of his favorite action hero. Wow! I'm also as mighty as my favorite hero! His typical reply on his mother's insistence of having food used to be, I'm not hungry at all. But if you will not eat, you will become weak. Mom, I'm as mighty as my superhero. It won't make any difference if I don't eat anything. And when his mother asked him to study, then his reply was, There's no need for me to study. Like my favorite hero, I know everything. But everyone has to study. Yes, but I don't need to study. <laughs> this habit of his made his parents very nervous. But what shall we do now? 
he doesn't listen to us at all. I'm just unable to understand anything. One day, they were upset as usual. Pinku's grandfather came near them and said, What happened? Why both of you are looking so upset? Pinku's parents told him everything. What shall we say, father? Pinku doesn't eat properly, nor does he study properly. Entire day he spends time watching his favorite Siro on television. We both tried a lot to explain him, but he doesn't listen to us at all. Please give us a solution. Mm. You do not worry at all. I will do something. Saying this, Grandfather went to Pinku. He saw, as usual, Pinku was watching television. He won't leave watching television like this. I will have to find a solution for this. He went outside near electricity board and disconnected the electricity. By doing this, the electricity of the house was cut and thus the television turned off. Why this electricity has gone now? This action movie was so good. Mom, what happened to electricity? And then Grandfather came near him. What happened, Pinku? Look, Grandpa, I was watching my favorite hero's movie. And suddenly, electricity has gone. So what happened? Let us both play something. No, I am interested in watching that movie only. Well, all right. So shall we have a competition between us? Competition? Yes. A competition. Shall we do a competition like your films? In which there is action also. And you have to use your brains as well. It would be fun doing competition like this. So come, let us start the competition. Saying this, the grandfather called Pinky too. Pinky, you also come. Without you, the competition will be incomplete. Pinky agreed to come with grandfather and then the competition started between them. First of all, we shall see who is more powerful. Come, you should do arm wrestling first. Arm wrestling? And that too with Pinky? <laughs> I will defeat her in seconds. Grandpa, Pinku is correct. He will defeat me within no time. My kids, just start the competition first. But I'm a girl. Gender doesn't matter in games, my child. Come, let's start the competition. An arm wrestling match started between them. Both of them wrestled with full energy and force. And then, finally, Pinky defeated Pinku. I won! I won! <laughs> Pinky was delighted with her victory. But Pinku was shocked after being defeated by Pinky. How come I lost? I can't lose. But now you've lost! And I have won! <laughs> calm down, calm down. Now we'll do a competition of brains. I will ask you both simple three questions. Whoever out of you will give two correct answers will win this competition. You see, Grandpa, I will only win this competition. Your first question is that how many alphabets are there in A, B, C and D? Pinku was unable to figure out the answer to this question. He didn't know the correct answer and then Pinky shouted. 26. You are right. Second question is, what are the five vowels? A, E, I, O, U. You are right, Pinky. I won. I won. <laughs> Pinky became very upset after losing to Pinky. Seeing this, Grandfather said, All right, let, let me ask you a final question. So tell me, what is the capital of our nation, India? On this, as usual, before completion of question, Pinky said, Capital of our nation, India, is New Delhi. Absolutely correct. I won and Pinky lost. <laughs> How come I lost to Pinky? On this, Grandfather explained Pinky by saying, The main reason behind your defeat is that, like you, Pinky doesn't waste entire day by watching action movies on the television. Instead, she eats properly, goes out to play in the park with friends and concentrate on studies in the school as well. Means? It means that 
No one becomes a hero watching their movies. For that one has to eat properly on time, has to play well, and has to concentrate on studies in school. Your favorite hero as well didn't become hero by watching movies. He too has become hero by eating well on time and by focusing on his studies. And finally, Pinku understood what grandfather was saying. He said, Grandpa, you are absolutely right. From now, I will eat well on time, will study well in school, and whatever time will be left, will watch TV and that only. Well done, Pinku. Finally, you understood this. <laughs> and like this, Pinku got rid of his habit of watching television. He now started focusing on his studies and ate well on time too. So kids, we learn from this story that we can't become like our superheroes just by watching television. For that, we have to eat properly, play well and have to focus on studies too.